I don't want to sleep in this RV! No! Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have Nehemiah, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. So it's the next morning, I had to sleep in the RV yet again, um, and by sleep I mean not really sleep. So I'm kind of fed up and I'm thinking we need a hotel room, so I had an idea when I woke up and uh, we'll see how this place out. So I figured no one could get mad at us if I win us a hotel room. Let's see how this goes. Yo, this thing sucks. Sleep in this RV. No! <laughs> yeah, so uh, my dad owns a yacht. The reason I got this drip on is because we're at a golf course here in Alabama. Apparently, there's this is like this is a really famous golf area. We just got this straight steez from Walmart, so hopefully we fit right in. First hole on a par three course, might have double bogeyed, but it's fun. new clubs, new course, we're figuring it out, you know? Oh, this course sucks. Wow. He's got 152 yards, should be just a nice, comfortable nine iron for him. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna go nuts when he hits this thing. The baby turtle. Hey, yo, do a flip. Okay, so. We're in Baton Rouge, we've been driving for 12 hours. I actually hate this thing. Sick and tired of it, don't want to sleep in it again. So I'm getting us a hotel room right now. All right, now we're late. Should have explained, we're heading to, there's a guy named Chris Turner. He's one of our coaches for High School Esports League and he built the first esports lab here in Louisiana. He runs at Cave through college program for esports. So he uses esports in every stage of all these kids' lives to encourage them to be leaders and how to communicate and compete. He's just been an awesome dude, but I've never actually met him in person. His school happens to be 20 minutes away from the lab that we're building tomorrow. So naturally, we're gonna go check out his place and meet him. Come along. I'm just gonna not even try to park it and I'm just gonna pull up right here. <laughs> So we just arrived. Uh, this is called Southern University in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hey, buddy, uh, we just pulled in. It's The sign says middle school, high school entrance. There's like a gravel um, parking yeah. lot here. All right, sounds way. What's going on? Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, we can do whatever, man. Hit some, hit some golf and then finish the, the trip out here. Oh, this is it. You got you got the front door. You got like the corner office. Uh, like five well, you know, the well to answer your first question, we saw as soon as we started the club in general, you know, back when we just had one television and a PlayStation. It was like, you know, 50, 60 kids for a game night, you know, across the board, different types of kids. So cheerleaders, band members, football kids, quote unquote nerds, you know, what we would label those type of students. And they're all playing together. It's so all united, and like when we saw that, it was like, okay, it's, some, it's something here. I'm, I'm 36, so I grew up in a generation where typically in my community, our parents said, get off the game, go outside, do something productive. You have to look at the whole ecosystem of what esports is. Nine times out of 10, if your kid or student is playing the game, they probably love something that's within the industry. And so I think we, start, we need to start having those conversations too, because that's a game changer 
um, and knowing how big the industry is worldwide, it's room for a lot of people to get inside yeah. that ecosystem. So we're uh, just leaving here, wrapping up with Chris, super awesome guy. Um, he's so insightful when it comes to high school esports and being on the ground level, showing how much work it takes, but then also why the reward is so worth it. Um, I don't know, it's really inspirational stuff heading into tomorrow. We're building a lab just across the river from them, so they'll have some new competition, which will be fun. So uh, yeah, I think we'll tune in then. I'm Matt, Matthew Clark, Mr. Clark. I've been a teacher here at Port Allen High School for about seven years now, and I am the coach, the head coach of our Pell Clan Esports team. Okay, so we're here at Port Allen High School here in Louisiana, and we're doing our next esports build here. So we just got on set, we're getting everything set up. It's gonna be a really exciting day. We've had students pop in and out already, so they're definitely excited, so this should be a really good time. Uh, there are many opportunities past high school and even further uh, through gaming, and this is one of those things that once we establish it, it's gonna be there and it's gonna give so many more people more options. Gaming does more than just, gaming is more than escape. It can be a lot of things you want it to be. Uh, it can promote teamwork, it can promote higher level thinking, uh, complex thinking strategy. It requires just enough mental fortitude as it does physical toughness. To some of the kids who are generally not as talkative or not as social uh, would see other gamers in our meetings and be like, hey, do you want a game together? Like this is the chance for them to communicate with someone who they might have never have talked to before prior to that. Criticism a little bit, uh, but not nothing too major. It's more so of just letting the parents know that this is a legit sport. So most of my kids here have never seen anything to this level. Like the computers we have set up, as you can see, are some of the things that they might not have readily encountered as much. And so for today, they actually get to be a part of it and actually build it. It's something that I cannot, like, I can't compare this feeling that I feel for them to actually get that experience under their belt. Apparently there's a tornado warning. I'm gonna get to Texas. So we're gonna see how this goes.